Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing about electromechanical over voltage relay. How does it operate? Here we'll be finding out the relation between fault voltage and the tripping time. So we can observe electromechanical over voltage relay unit. This is actually electromechanical uh, over voltage relay unit. So this is regarding the relay setting. Okay. So let us consider this particular meter that gives voltage you can apply the voltage so this meter is belong to voltmeter basically a voltmeter okay ac similarly this is the timer you can we, finally we have to measure the fault voltage and the time and we have to find out the relation between fault voltage and the relay operating time yes first of all we have to do the relay setting for that purpose we need to open this so it can be removable slowly you have to open this particular cover Okay, this you can place it somewhere else. Be careful while handling the devices. Yes. Now let me introduce the relay settings. Here you can observe, this is actually the TSM. By changing this particular knob, you can change the TSM. See how I am going to change. You can change. Depends on your requirement, you can change your TSM. TSM is known as time setting multiplier. Okay, depends on the require. Based on the requirement, you can able to change. Clear? Number one. Number two, this is regarding plug setting you can call ps ps or plug setting so slowly you have to remove the particular segment see like this so i can set anywhere depends on my re uh, requirement i can able to place plug and place so that's a peculiarity of uh, ps that is known as plug setting similarly you can able to read plug setting multiplier any any plug setting multiplier multiplier you can choose depends on your requirement you can choose any of the plug setting multiplier it is also known as psm plug setting multiplier okay I hope you understood uh, how to uh, how to make out TSM, uh, then plug, se plug setting and plug setting multiplier. Now let us move on the segments of the relay kit. This is actually the dimmer. Make sure that initially it should be at a zero position. See, likewise, you can vary dimmer, dimmer start. Now let us familiar the main main switch. This is the main switch, and this option is actually a set and test. You can go, go for either test set mode and test mode. Depends on the procedure. That I will let you know. So this is your start option. You can see the green colored one. That is actually start option. And this, is, this will be the reset option. That red colored one that is known as uh, reset option. Yes. Now let us begin with the connection. As you can see, the secondary of the transformer. This is actually the secondary of the transformer. Secondary of the transformer has to be connected. That means uh, we have to measure the voltage. High voltage has to be measured. So by using the PT, it is possible to measure the high voltage. So what you can do is, here, it should be connected like this. It should be connected to 9. That means 9 means you can observe the PT. PT means the potential transformer. You can call it as VT also. It will be it will act as a sensor or you can call transducer. It will measure high voltage. Similarly, another terminal. Another terminal, second side, that has to be connected to uh, the tenth one. That means uh, here you can observe PT, the second side of the PT. This is for the voltage measurement. That's the purpose of doing this connection. So I hope you understood the connection. So this is the way how the connection can be done. The first first procedure. Yes. Let's continue with the connection. So this terminal will be always closed. NC that is known as normally closed. Now let us consider NO terminal. NO means normally open. So what you can do is you connect like this from here to the one and two terminal. Okay. Moreover, the second the another terminal another terminal has to be connected to the second part. So this is the way how we have to do the second part of the connection. So like this you need to proceed. As you can observe 1 and 2 that is for the tripping circuit. So that is why we will be connecting from uh, this terminal to here. This is for the tripping. Actually this is your circuit diagram. We have done the connection as per the circuit diagram. You can observe how we are going to connect the particular circuit. So these are the our references for doing the connection. You can have an observation. Now I would like to show you the relay setting. First and foremost thing, you need to set the TSM. TSM is nothing but time setting multiplier. So here I would like to set, it is, it is your wish, I will be setting uh, 1 TSM equal to 1. So you can slowly move, make sure that it is exactly 1, yes. Now I, I have set TSM that is equal to 1, you can clearly observe here, okay. Once it is completed, so the TSM for the operation is 1, okay. Thereafter, I need to set plug setting, PS, plug
plug setting known as PS. So PS I will be setting as 132. It is your wish. Slowly you can remove and uh, you can place it over here. Okay. Now I made PS equal to 132. Similarly, uh, PSM you can select from anything 1.4 or 1.6 whatever as your wish you can select a PSM PSM you can select as your wish okay. now I would like to discuss how do you calculate the fault voltage okay first and foremost thing I already informed you that the time setting multiplier that we have chosen as 1 and already set the value also thereafter I have set the PS value that is equal to 132 as your wish so uh, what I am going to set is 132. You can choose based on your own requirement. Thereafter, I can calculate the fault voltage. How to calculate fault voltage? Please do remember one formula. PSM is given by VF divided by P PS, where VF is known as fault voltage. PSM is known as plug setting multiplier and PS is known as plug setting. From this equation, I can calculate the value of VF. How to calculate VF? That means PSM multiplied by PS. If you multiply PSM and PS, I will be getting the value of VF. So easily I will be getting the value of PF. For example, uh, PSM, plug setting multiplier, I will be choosing 1.4, then 1.8, 2.2. Uh, that is also your wish. Yes. Now, now TSM I have chosen as 1. I already informed that TSM equal to 1. Okay. Now PS I have chosen as 132. You can observe very clearly. This is 132 I have chosen. 132. And, and we can say that I will be choosing PSM. What is uh, PSM? Plus, plus setting multiplier. That is equal to 1.4. I have chosen 1.4. Then 1.8. 1.8. And 2.2. Okay, 2.2. You can choose any, any values. No, uh, doesn't matter. So, I will be choosing 1.4, 1.6 and 2.2. Okay. Yes. Now, let us do the calculation. The fault voltage that is given by PSM multiplied by PS. So, I will be choosing PSM as 1.4, 1.8 and 2.2. So let us calculate the first one. So fault voltage that is equal to 132 multiplied by uh, 1.4. That is equal to 184.8 volt. Similarly, I can go for the next one. 132. 132 is nothing but PS. PS multiplied by next value of PSM is 1.8. So I will be getting 237.6 volt. Similarly, third one, I can choose uh, 132 into 2.2. 2.2 is the next value of PSM. Okay, you can choose anything. There is no limit for that. So, 290.4 volt. So, this is the way how to do the calculation of fault voltage. Let us discuss the procedure. First and foremost thing, I will be setting the TSM that is equal to 1. Thereafter, you need to set the PS that is equal to 132. And you can select any value of PSM. Let me choose 1.4. By using this, I can able to calculate the fault voltage. The fault voltage is given by PSM multiplied by PS. So, I have computed the fault voltage is equal to 184.8 volt. Okay. Now, initially I need to set the fault voltage is equal to 184.8 volt. Now, let me discuss how to operate the kit. First and foremost thing, you need to click on the main supply. Main supply has to be turned on. Thereafter, uh, it should be kept at uh, set mode. Okay. Yes. So I turned on the main supply, then it, it should be kept in the set mode. Thereafter, what you can do is you need to click on the start button. So green colored one. So now what you can do, I already calculated the fault voltage that is equal to uh, 184.8 volt. So what you can do is you need to set the fault voltage 184.8 volt. This is regarding your voltmeter. You, you have to look at this particular voltmeter. So let me set the fault voltage that is equal to uh, 184.8 volt. Slowly you can make out. Keep on observing. So slowly you have to make out 184. 180. Yes. Now what I have done is by adjusting the rheostat dimmer stat by adjusting the dimmer stat I maintain the fault voltage is equal to 184.8 volt so this is your fault voltage yes after setting the fault voltage that is equal to 184.8 what you can do is you need to click on the uh, reset button so this is actually red colored one please click on this now you can observe the aluminum disc let it comes to home position so it will complete one revolution and uh, let it comes to home position just wait for a while yes now that process has been completed. Now you have to pull the toggle switch to test mode. Immediately you have to click on the start button. At the same time you need to note down 
uh, the tripping time. Let me do that. Okay, so I'll be clicking on the start button. Immediately you need to note down the tripping time. And you can observe here also, the aluminum disc also. So keep on observing the tripping time. This is a timer where you can note down the tripping time. The tripping time is equal to uh, 9.086. You can note down the value of tripping time. Yes. Uh, I have noted down the tripping time corresponding to this fault voltage. That is equal to 9.086 seconds. We have taken the first reading. Now let, let me discuss how to turn off the kit. First and foremost thing, dimmer step has to be kept at zero position. Okay, number one. Number two, uh, you have to click on the reset option. And number three, you need to keep uh, this toggle button to set mode. Thereafter, you can turn off the kit. Yes. Now, let us move on the second reading. So, it will be same only. First and foremost thing, TSM has to be set at 1. Here, PS, there is no change, 132. Here, only the change is, you will be choosing the PSM that is equal to 1.8. So, there will be a change of calculation. That means, PSM is given by, PSM is given by VF divided by PS, where VS, VF is known as the fault voltage. From that fault voltage, we can able to calculate VF is given by PSM multiplied by PS. That means 132 multiplied by 1.8, that is equal to 237.6. So, you will be getting the fault voltage is equal to 237.6. Yes. Now, let us operate uh, the second reading. So, first and foremost thing, you need to turn on the main supply. So, I have turned on the main supply. Uh, it has to be kept at set mode. Alright. Thereafter, uh, you need to click on the start option. Okay. Now, now I need to set the fault voltage that is equal to 237.6. Slowly you can adjust 237.6. You can keep on observing here. 237.6. Yes. Now I have set the fault voltage equal to 237.6. So thereafter, what you can do is, you can go for the reset option. Once I click on reset option, the aluminum disc will come back to initial position. Wait for a while. Let, let it come to home position or initial position. That process is completed. Once it is done, now let us operate. You have to click on the start option. Now I need to go for the toggle switch into test mode. Alright. Thereafter you have to click on the start button, green button. Yes. Now you have to keep on observing the trip time when it is going to get tripped. Here also you can observe. So the trip time is equal to 4.456 seconds. Let me note down the value. Yes. Now I need to go for the next reading. For, for the next reading there is no change except that particular PSM. You can see the PSM. Here PSM I will be choosing uh, 2.2. So corresponding PSM the calculated fault voltage is equal to 290.4 volt. You need to set 290.4 volt. Then procedure remains same. Yes. Now, uh, now repeat the step for TSM equal to uh, 0.6. You can set like this. It will be 0.6. Okay. TSM equal to 0.6. You have to repeat the same procedure. Only we will be setting the TSM equal to 0.6. Yes. Now let's go for another set of reading. So TSM I will be setting to uh, 1. TSM equal to 1. Similarly, I will be changing the PS. That PS I will be changing as 143. So, you can uh, plug this and place it over here. Now, it becomes PS equal to 143. Yes, that I have done. Thereafter, there is no change for uh, PSM. PSM I will be, be choosing uh, 1.4, 1.8, 2.2, etc. First and foremost thing, I will be choosing PSM equal to 1.4. So, how to calculate the fault voltage? Fault voltage is given by PS. Yes. Therefore, fault voltage is equal to 200.2. So, by using uh, this dimmer step, you need to set the fault voltage is equal to 200.2. So, yes. make the fault voltage is equal to 200.2. So, first and foremost thing, you need to make the main supply should be on. Uh, it should be at a set mode. Uh, thereafter, you have to click on the start, st start option. Now, what you can do is, you need to rotate uh, this dimmer stat and you need to maintain the set for the fault voltage that is equal to 200.2 volt. Keep on observing that. So, I will be maintaining 200.2 volt. Yes, here you can observe. Slowly you can, can maintain 200.2. 
Yes. Uh, I have made the fault voltage is equal to 200 point two. Thereafter, uh, we need to go for a uh, resetting. So click on this. So make sure that the aluminum disc it has to come to initial position. Okay, it has to come back to normal position. It is rotating and it is coming to its initial position. Let us wait for a while. Yes, now it has been completed. Thereafter, uh, you need to keep the toggle button to test mode. Okay, now let us apply uh, the start option. Yes, now you can keep on observing the tripping type. And here also you can observe. Now, what is the tripping type? Yes, tripping time is equal to 9.42 per second. You can note down the reading. Yes. So, repeat the similar step for other readings also. Yes. Now, let me uh, let me turn off the entire system. Initially, dimmer step has to be converted back to zero position. Thereafter, you have to click on the reset option. Uh, it has come back to set mode, then turn off the entire supply. Yes. Uh, finally, you will be able to get the graph like this. Time versus uh, PSM. Okay. Uh, similar, if you get a particular graph, we will understand that. If the high, for a high fault voltage, the tripping time is... Um, if the fault voltage is very much high, the tripping time is very less. It will activate very fastly. For another, in the opposite hand, if the fault voltage is uh, very less, it takes lot of time to trip.